Miss Mama Work. Hello, my fellow artisans. Well, you saw the title, so let's get into it. What is tracing? Tracing is when you take a piece of art and you follow the lines of that art piece. Basically, you copy a drawing in terms of the lines, and this can be your own piece of art or it can be someone else's piece of art. And in the art community, there is some difference in tracing, referencing and studying and there is a reason why some people consider tracing a bad piece of art advice. So tracing is exactly copying what you see. You usually have another piece of paper that you put on the, the copy that you want to copy and then you trace it or you have it on one layer, get another layer and trace it in that way. Referencing on the other hand means that you use pictures and art pieces and draw what you see and make your own interpretation of that. And a study is that you analyze the picture and see the details and more into the nitty gritty of things and actually try to comprehend why something is like that. Both tracing and referencing have their own types of drama within the art community. But if it is such a thing, then why would you trace? Well, for example, I think you can trace if you're trying to learn, if you're trying to understand what you are doing. And when you are tracing, are you actually conscious about the details or are you just following the lines, not knowing why those details exist? That is a big difference when you do the things. And tracing can be a good exercise if you know where to begin. For example, tracing can be perfect to get an idea across and save time. And especially when a reference is used just for the pose, it can really help just to sketch the outline and be like, yeah, this is the pose that I want. It can be a big starting point in the art that you are making. And you can also use pics of yourself or use 3D models and trace that instead of other people's art which is more uh, acceptable within the art community. It does require a level of skill to finish a painting and it is obvious when the artist uses tracing without the other skills that are uh, developed in that way. And like I said before, if it is your own art, it is easier to transfer pictures to another medium, for example, from paper to a canvas and that kind of stuff. But now I've stated all the reasons why you should trace, what are the reasons why you shouldn't trace? Well, if you are tracing, you don't learn as much as you think. I have a personal experience in that. When I was a bit younger, I used to draw a lot of Captain Jack Sparrow, but I just couldn't get the face right if I just used a reference. So I started tracing the face and then coloring it in. But it never looked right uh, as it should be and I just didn't learn from it. So afterwards I could not draw the face without tracing. So you don't really improve your observation skills if you do that. And it's also a reason if you trace you don't translate the subject so it's not your own thing and if you only trace and not looking at the details you're not really learning anything and you're not actually uh, improving yourself and it basically becomes a crutch for your work and I have heard people say that it feels like stealing if you claim uh, a trace piece as your original. So if you use an original piece from another artist and you trace that and then claim that piece that you've traced as your original 
and I think that's the biggest controversy that you can have in the art community. And when you are tracing, the picture often seems a bit rigid. It's not as fluid as if you would draw it yourself or if you would use it as a, a reference of that sort. In my opinion, tracing your own work is fine. More than fine even. It is your work after all. And it can be really beneficial if you want to work fast like making a comic for example. Tracing other people's art is something I do not really like myself, even if I did it in the past. I know. I rather use references, even though the picture would never become a one-to-one -one copy, I am aware of that. As for the question whether tracing is helping you with art, well, I do not think so. Unless it is an art study while you are tracing, you do not really learn enough from it. Well, my fellow artisans, we are at the end of the video. I used a couple of other artist videos uh, to get both sides of the coin across. The video links are in the description. If you like more of these kinds of videos, please like and subscribe. You were watching me trying to get some plants to sway in the wind in open tunes. The animation is going well and I think I'm able to finish it soon. So if you are into ARGs or want to hunt some lore, go watch my Argonauti series. I also have a Patreon and some shops if you like my art. My car recently broke down, so I'm grateful with every penny that I can get. But thank you for watching, until next time.